I am 70. I'll be 71 in September. Oh, I can go back to when I was 8, 9 or 10 and had made a mountain bike out of a lady's bike. Uh, that was my first experience of biking. Then got married, had a son who liked bikes, rally grifter, rally chipper, chopper, did all that way before BMX came out. We missed the 80s, early 90s because he was a schoolboy motocrosser and the daughter's a show jumper. So I missed all the old school bikes. Went to work for the rest of my life. Really didn't do much until I got made redundant at 63. Sat at home thinking, oh, what am I going to do now? My friend said to me, why don't you get a mountain bike? So I went to Cycle King, oops, bought a 150 pound full suspension bike sort of thing. Went to Chick Sands, that was nearest me, and had a roll down. No helmet, no gloves, no shoe, nothing, just jeans, t shirt, whatever. Thinking, quite like this. I think the first one was an intense. Uh, yeah, okay, worked. Then I bought the Pure, and that scared me. It wanted to do things I could only dream about doing. You know, seeing Alan Hill doing what he does on his, yeah. Sold that and bought the Identity, which I always liked. Two laps round, brain tree on that. I knew it, that was the bike for me. It worked, it was planted, it didn't frighten me. All right, I'm not that talented a rider, but it just made me feel quite stable and everything, and really enjoyed it. One grand, two grands, three grands this year with Billy. Did the Austin National on it, one a moto, one a main. American tracks suit my style of riding in as much that they're not as technical. I do find, I come to some tracks thinking, no, no, I'll be honest with you. I think if I was on it, yeah, I'm honest, every trap scares me. Their BMX attitude is different to ours. It's 101% all the time. I'm not saying we're not, don't get me wrong. I, I love what we do here, but it's just a full on lifestyle. I mean, they can do three nationals a month building up the Grands, which is the equivalent of our Brits, and to see three and a half ri thousand riders at the Brits race over th three, three days is unbelievable. And having experienced it, everybody here must in their lifetime go to the Grands. I felt quite star, not like a star, when I won my main. Holy God, the place went mental. And I mean mental. They just it, it took, I had to go and find a, a little corner out of a cry because nobody's ever made me feel like that. I mean, you know, I've been married a couple of times, but that's by the by. That just the friendliness and the, uh, the, the way that, made, yeah, brilliant. I mean, when I left Dave's, I was quite sad on the plane. Somebody said to me when I got back, Would you go back? Go back next year, I'm going to stay about a month, I think. Uh, do a bit more travelling. Do a little bit more BMX in rather than just the one. Not stay with somebody. I could either hotel it or I think I'd like to get a camper van type of thing and uh, do it that way. You can stay in hotels, you can eat cheap and nothing. And do a few more because a lot of them do travel around. And it seems now I found out that to race the champions on Friday, you have to have national points. They have national points. Basically, the first race I just did, uh, my legs are quite weak. It's quite a physical track for me. Um, I am having trouble with the first jump, so I might as well put that on air because it's on Facebook anyway. Um, if I could get through that better than I am. But then my coach, Jules Allen, said, Paul, oh, pedal to the drain, put a brake on, get over it, there's the rest of the track you can do. So what more advice can I get? But earlier on, I went down and thought, oh, that was wrong, I should have gone. Yeah, it don't work that way. Admittedly, a couple of collarbones broken, thumb broken. Do I sit on the gate think, am I going to crash? 
never crosses my mind until it happens. I'm not far off them. Um, on a less technical track, say at regional, at regional level, I can make four, five and six places. At national, I'm open-minded enough to know that I will be last. And yes, got to mention, I mean, come and take West Ball, West Ball, he's at the back, you silly man. Are you filming? Yeah, film, right. And so, um, I'm open, realistic enough. I am having my doubts about carrying on because where do you draw the line? The fact that they finish an arm on the last straight is a bit of a it's a bit off-putting when you think it's a bit worth it. But the way people treat me, they uh, speak to me. I was talking to Darren Mead, who's in my category, and we were chatting this morning said about how I'm feeling now and everything. And he said, Paul, you'll know when to stop. He said, you have no idea what you're doing for BMX. What? what are you talking about? I mean, Bob Furmore, who don't, don't ride anymore, he said, Paul, you're all over BMX. It's, it's, people know you across the, what? He said, no, you're the oldest one in the UK. Don't know. There are older ones in America. And I think the world's, in my age group, they said the 65 year old Canada. Then they said the 69 year old lady. Um, I'd love to make the worlds. I have no idea how to make them. I doubt if I'll make Baku. I did try and bribe him and they will. They just laugh. Training for it. I think I'm getting quicker. I want to believe I'm getting quicker. I'm doing some sort of thing called CrossFit now. Oh my god. I mean, I thought gym was tough, but this CrossFit, oh, and I'm sure it's working. So I feel better out the gate. I feel less tired. My legs are a bit wobbly today. I think on the. Wednesday. This is day two, though. This is day two. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the warm up I had three laps warm up. Yeah. yeah. Warmed up the road and all that. But yeah, as you say, um, I have to support myself in as much of energy gels, energy drinks, not energy drinks. Yes, I'm you know proper made energy drinks and all that sort of thing not uh, monster and all that um, there is a definite reason for me doing that I try and eat well lean meat vegetables uh, no bread no dairy oh, I have cereal in the morning but that's almond milk or soy milk um, I can't believe how <laughs> fit I've become fit orientated I've become in as much that what I eat yeah, I'll go to the CrossFit on Monday and Wednesday. I mean, I will go tomorrow. Even after this, I will still go. Probably won't be able to walk on Tuesday. But come Wednesday, go again. And then I have a bit of time to recover. And I think these people in the gym, they've got, they've got me on their advertising logo. You know, you've got a seven-year-old, does it? And initially it was, you, you do half, Paul. You do half of what they do. So, yeah, first few times is not a problem. Uh, it can be one day, an hour of squats. Uh, I could not walk on Thursday. I had to crawl to the toilet in the morning. I touched them and they were on fire. But I rode on the Sunday here, and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm really strong, my leg, oh yeah. I mean, you know, this isn't a gay thing, but I get out of the bar thinking, I've got muscles in my legs that are amazing. And I've lost so much weight in the last few, oh yeah, definitely. I must have lost two or three kilos. Um, these are baggy on me now, but put a hole in my belt and jeans. So Cross something's happening. I mean, whether it's uh, the apple cider vinegar, the lemon juice in the morning, I can't believe how health orientated I've become. Just hope that I can ride better. That's it.